My next guest tonight is a model and an actress who's appeared in numerous films, including Blow, Pearl Harbor, and Slackers. Well, currently you can see her in Bulletproof Monk. Let's take a look. Uh, I like it when the ladies fight. Please welcome the lovely Jamie King. Thank you for being here. You look lovely. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, happy birthday, by the way. This is this is uh, Jamie King's birthday. This is very cool. Thank you. That's great. Thanks. What are you going to, I mean, I hope this isn't your idea of fun on your birthday. Like, what are you going to do? What's the big plan tonight? Well, this is fun for me, but I'm actually going to my surprise birthday party. Well, okay. <laughs> who's, who's screwed up? Like... Have you, is friends, it really supposed to be a surprise? My, my friends cannot keep a secret. They totally let the cat out of bag. Like, both of the two people did. They already told me, like, a week ago. So I've, I've been planning my surprise birthday party. So does day. everybody at the party know that you know? Yeah, or because do you I actually invited the people to my surprise birthday party. Oh, okay, end. okay. Because the worst would be if you knew, but nobody knew you knew, so you had to still do, like, oh, 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 oh you know? <laughs> That would suck. That would not be good. But at least they know. Now, uh, uh, your first name, uh, Jamie, you were named after, this is true, You were na your mom named you after the bionic woman. Yeah. Is that true? It's true. What was her, she was Jamie... Jamie Summers. Jamie Summers, that's right. Yeah. yeah. She, uh, which was perfect because the kind of the role that I play now is kind of like a bionic woman kind of role. Right, but right. Yeah, I guess she really liked her and she decided to name me Jamie Summers after the bionic woman. It's a good thing she wasn't a Kojak fan. That would have been a little <laughs> weird. But you know what's weird is that were you a big Bionic Woman? I mean, you're young, but do you ever have you seen the Bionic Woman? Have you seen the show that you're named after? Well, you know, I, it's funny because I had never seen it before. The first time that I actually saw it was when I went on Rosie O'Donnell, and she had given me the tape, right? And she gave me like a vintage Bionic Woman doll, and that was actually the first time that I had seen it. They gave a lot of nice gifts away on that show. They do. So do you guys too? I got a huge gift back so when I walked in. It was That's great. That's not from us. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford that. <laughs> Um, I have a question about the bionic woman, and maybe you can straighten it out, or anyone can straighten it out. This is what I don't understand. She has, like, a bionic arm, right? Okay, that's attached here. So she'll, like, lift up a Volvo over her head. I understand why the arm can lift it, but wouldn't this arm then rip down through the rest of her body? Has anyone ever thought about that? We'll talk about it later. Now, um, you were, uh, of course, a model and mm -hmm. one of the top models, and then you switched over to acting. What's the biggest difference between the two? What's the difference for you, like day to day, what's the biggest difference between being a model and, and being an actress? God, they're so, they're so different. Mm -hmm. um, I, well, I think probably one of the funniest things is, is sex scenes. Mm -hmm. Any sort of like love making scenes in a movie are just, I remember my first day in Slackers, I had to, uh, the first, the, literally the first scene that I did, I, had to, I walked out on set and I had to make out with Laura Prepon and Jason Schwartzman at the same time. Right. And then two days later, I had my first sex scene. And uh, my sex scene was with this actor named Devin Sawa. And, you know, it's, first of all, I was so mortified. We were shooting night shoots. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. I walk onto the set. Not only do you have a crew of, like, 50 guys standing there watching you, but his girlfriend decided to visit that day, so she was standing there watching too. Right. And I just remember like lying there thinking to myself, like, oh my God, I'm, I'm getting paid to have Devin Sawa hump my leg in a thong. You know, it was just like the Are most you in the bizarre... thong or is, is he in the... Who's he in the is thong? He's in the thong. He's the like, guy's in a thong? thong? Yeah. Guys don't wear thongs. God, well, this guy does. You Who know, is this guy? I've never heard of a guy wearing that's a thong you do before. When you're doing these, like, when you're doing this guy's these... probably watching right now eating Cheerios in a thong. Like, no! No! That's so bad! Why are you all? Oh. Oh. I've never heard of a guy wearing a thong. Well, that's what they do in the movies. They wear a thong. Well, that's why I've stayed out of the movies. <laughs> Stop calling because I'm not interested. Money. <laughs> um, yeah, that, so that, that would be a pretty huge difference, I would think. Now, you grew up in Nebraska. Yeah, in Omaha. I, I've, I've been to Nebraska, but, I, but to live in Nebraska, what's it like? What do you do for fun? 
God, you know, there's not really anything to do there. We mm-hmm. hung out at like the 7 Eleven. Mm-hmm. Um, we would fill up super soakers with cherry Coke and spray people in their car in the middle of winter. That was pretty fun. So you were a criminal, is what you were saying. <laughs> I was a criminal, a 7 yeah, Eleven right, bandit. Right. No, no. Enjoy your cherry Coke. <laughs> Let's get out of here, dudes. Um, so what? So what? I don't know. It could happen. <laughs> you can grab my hand in time. <laughs> Let's just calm down, all right? <laughs> calm down. <laughs> now, uh, would you ever get into trouble? I mean, uh, would you ever not, have problems with the law? Did you ever break the law? Not technically. Cause, well, maybe. Because when people are bored sometimes and they're living in a I rural area. I never did area, anything really bad. I mean, well, I used to break into the high school a lot. We, uh, you know, I love to take pictures and, and, you know, pottery and all that kind of stuff. So we'd break into the high school and... You know, use their dark room and use the pottery room <laughs> and stuff like that. I mean, it wasn't that yeah. hardcore or anything. No, you're supposed like, to... Yeah, I broke into the high school and use, you know, make some pots, you I know? Like... It's like... Yeah, I like it. You're supposed to break into the high school and, like, you know, TP like, it or... Like, yeah. or, like, I don't know. The cop's breaking in. What are you doing? I'm almost done. Uh, I'm, I'm making a candlestick, you know? <laughs> there you go, officer. Arrest me. Cherry Coke, officer. Let's get out of here. That really, is, you know, yeah. it was a tough one. That was pretty tough. Now, <laughs> when you were, um, before we go, you were a uh, runway model, one of the top models. Can I ask you a question? They all, and you were famous for this, you have to have attitude when you walk down the runway, don't you? Like your, yeah. your face. I guess, I mean, for modeling, it's kind of like, it's all about just being too cool for school. Right. You know what I mean? Just that kind of a thing. That's what it's like. Do you think it'll ever be cool? Like, there'll ever be, like, a beautiful model who becomes famous for walking down the runway and beautiful stuff, and she's just kind of like... <laughs> That would be a cool way to do it sometimes. That would be fun. I mean, to break up the monotony a little bit, yeah. Well, when I male model, that's how I did it. Now, <laughs> Let me see your best male model look. My male model yeah, look? It would yeah. be this kind of thing. I would do that. And then I would do this with my hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would sell a lot of Hager slacks, let me tell you right now. Because that's as far as I'd get. <laughs> Uh, Bulletproof Monk is in theaters now. Jamie, thanks so much for coming by and happy birthday. Thank you. All right, Jamie King, everybody. We'll be right back with the White Stripes. Stick around. All right, everybody, we are back. Ladies and gentlemen, here for the second night of their week-long engagement are the White Stripes. 